Hello, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how to fix tire pressure sensor fault Ford Fusion and cost. You could be driving and notice your dash abruptly indicates a tire pressure sensor fault caution light. However, you may be wondering what the signal is for and how to remedy it. This video highlights tire pressure sensor faults and how to repair them. We will examine, what does tire pressure sensor fault mean? Is it safe to drive with it? How much does it cost to fix it? But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. The tire pressure monitoring system of your Ford Fusion is a vital protective aspect of your automobile. This scheme will activate an illumination caution light if any tires are defective. If you notice the caution light, you ought to test your tire force with a tire gauge and pump up your tires to the accurate pressure. The tire pressure monitoring system is not a proxy for inspecting your tire pressure manually. You can employ a tire test to verify the precise measurements. Apply a tire gauge to examine your tire pressure every month. If you fail to take care of the tire pressure, you stand the danger of losing control of your automobile and risking your life. What does tire pressure sensor fault mean? A tire pressure sensor is a modest computer situated within each tire invested with the sole purpose of alerting drivers of a flat tire. Tire pressure sensors have long been compulsory on all automobiles in the US since 2007. Tire pressure sensors are basically of two types, the valve type, the sensor and valve stem are in a single piece for this kind. The band sensor, in this type, the sensor is positioned toward the inside the rim through an iron band. The two sensors light up the console light as soon as the pressure reading is low, cautioning drivers to a tire with little air pressure. The instant the tire pressure sensor identifies an issue with tire pressure, it automatically launches a message to the vehicle's computer, causing a glow to shed light on the dash. This bright yellow light is akin to an exclamation point inside a U-shaped figure. This sign is to inform a driver to examine the tires as a fault has been detected. Ford Escape Tire Pressure Sensor Fault the Ford Escape Tire Pressure Monitoring System supervises the air pressure in tires with wheel-mounted tire pressure sensors. The sensors convey radio signals to the SJB roughly every minute when the automobile velocity goes beyond 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour, and every 6 hours when the automobile is immobile. The Ford Escape Tire Pressure Sensor transmission is in contrast to a low pressure limit. If tire pressure has dropped under this boundary, the SJB transmits a signal to the dash, which then sheds light on the low pressure cautioning indicator and shows the fitting messages. The tire pressure sensors of the Ford Escape operated by battery are placed on metal brackets on the controls. The tire pressure sensor may be repaired disjointedly, but the cradle and strap must be put back jointly. The Ford Escape tire pressure sensor fault may occur if, the tire pressure is little. The tire pressure sensor is misplaced or destroyed. A standby tire is fixed as a road wheel. If an incorrect sensor is reinstated. Non OEM wheels are fixed. Non OEM equipped run flat tires are fixed. There are other non OEM adjustments. If the tire pressure sensor is refixed, it must be trained. When the warning signal of the tire pressure is illuminated and indicates low tire pressure, ensure you verify the air pressure of all tires and fine tune to the specified cold pressure on the vehicle certification tag. Drive the automobile at 20 miles per hour. 32 kilometers per hour for at least 120 seconds ensure the warning light trips off please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and turn on the notification bell to get notified when i post a new video is it safe to drive with a tire pressure sensor fault it is not considered safe to drive with a tire pressure sensor fault as it can be dangerous driving on a deflated tire could make the automobile pull in one direction considering the side with the defective tire this is risky because the driver cannot have power over the automobile properly. It is unsafe to drive with a tire pressure sensor fault because the deflated tire can equally lead to unbalanced tire wear, which can devastate the structural integrity of the tire, mostly the sidewall. This can be lethal as it can trigger a blowout immediately after the tire is inflated again. A totally flat tire would necessitate replacement due to the impairment. The sensor is faulty if the tire pressure is satisfactory on all tires. A defective sensor will entail the driver paying more attention to the pressure in their tires since it's unable to reread the actual pressure. Ensure you promptly rectify this issue. How much does it cost to fix a tire pressure sensor fault? 
As a car owner, you may ask, how much does it cost to fix a tire pressure sensor fault? The cost of fixing a tire pressure sensor fault largely depends on the automobile. The major cost to fix it is the cost of the sensor itself. Luxury vehicles like Audi and Land Rover will cost more than brands like Toyota, Ford, or Honda since the sensors of the former are more expensive. The cost of the sensors can range anywhere from $50 up to the hundreds for a single sensor. The labor cost is comparatively low, usually between half to one labor hour per sensor. Note that the cost of labor depends on the repair shop. Some repair shops include fees for reprogramming your vehicle's computer. A renowned dealership will likely charge more labor per hour than a small repair shop. It is best to go for hourly labor costs and reprogramming fees when trying to fix the sensor. How to fix tire pressure sensor fault The fastest and simplest way to fix this fault is to check the pressure of all the tires using a quality air pressure test. These gauges can be obtained at the parts store. Ensure you also test the emergency tire, as most automobiles have a force sensor in the spare tire which is habitually disregarded. It is best to adhere to the pressure proposed by the manufacturer because any light change in pressure can set off the dash caution illumination. Consult the owner's manual for the approved pressure. So, how do you fix the tire pressure sensor? To fix the tire pressure sensor, you need to scrutinize the pressure. If after examining and regulating the tire pressure to the suitable specification still fails to repair the problem, then it may warrant you to change the tire pressure sensor. You can detect the defective sensor with the use of an OBD2 scanner or via the dash, taking the model into consideration. Though an automotive scan tool will assist you in establishing the fault, contacting an auto repair shop to scan your car can save time detecting the defective sensor. The longevity of the battery sensors varies from 3 to 11 years. Procedure for fixing tire pressure sensor To fix or change a malfunctioned tire pressure sensor, the tire from the faulty wheel would have to be taken down. After taking out the tire, the previous or faulty sensor can be swapped with a fresh one. After fixing the new sensor, the tire will be fixed back on, and the air will be blown into it. The vehicle's computer will have to be reprogrammed to detect the new sensor, or it will still send fault ciphers. If you cannot fix a tire, then it is best to consult a local repair tire shop so that experts would handle it. The service wouldn't cost you much, and you can buy the sensor at an affordable rate. Reprogramming the sensor, as we said earlier, your vehicle's computer would have to be reprogrammed to recognize the fixed tire pressure sensor. Reprogramming the car is hinged on the model and build. Several automobiles necessitate a certain sum of mileage to be positioned on the changed sensor for it to be detected by the computer. Other automobiles must be programmed back with the same scanner that detected the malfunction sensor. The scanner is responsible for programming the sensor to the mainframe, so they might be able to correspond. If this procedure is unsuccessful, it means the dash light will continue to light up even after fixing the tire force sensor because the computer cannot detect or recognize the new sensor. In conclusion, when you want to fix a tire pressure sensor fault, ensure you opt for a reliable repair shop with a good reputation. Your mechanic or local tire shop should be capable of replacing the or appropriately replacing the sensor. It is advisable to find out about labor costs and part service contracts before commencing repair or replacement work at a shop. This is to avoid paying for labor costs, only to discover the replaced part was faulty. I hope this video was helpful to you. We discussed what tire pressure sensor fault means and how to fix tire pressure sensor fault Ford Fusion and cost. We also showed you if driving with a tire pressure sensor fault is safe. Please don't forget this share this video if it was helpful to you.